Hello, fellow Slowpoke enthusiasts. Um, so, good news and bad news. I am starting a YouTube channel. Uh, that's that's the good news. Um, welcome if you're making the transition over from my Instagram to YouTube. Uh, we're gonna see what YouTube's all about. We're gonna see if uh, we can't make some more contacts with people who have collections, who want to trade, uh, who want to talk Pokemon. Um, so that's that's kind of the idea. Um, I made so many connections on Instagram um, that it's just it's it just seems only right at this point to start reaching out to other platforms and seeing if there's uh, there's any there's any other fans out there. Bad news. Uh, I just opened a pack, uh, a box actually, a very big box, um, and recorded it and uh, was 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 very excited for that to be my first YouTube video. Um, where I opened a product and showed you the, the product, but uh, you know, it, it didn't really work. Uh, I recorded the video wrong, and trial and error, here we are, round two. Um, I guess more good news, I don't really open packs that much. Uh, that's not really the focus of what I do, so kind of uh, good that we're not starting off on a, making a wrong impression. I'm gonna show you my PSA submission that I have going out right now. I've got a PSA submission going out with two other people who are sending cards out through me. I'm going to show you what uh, what's going out and um, we can anticipate those coming back together. I know a lot of people right now have uh, cards out at PSA. They're doing their quarterly special and um, since COVID and all that, the quarterly special is a great, it's just attracting so many people who have cards to grade. So um, PSA actually released a statement um, about their how much more they're seeing. So that's pretty crazy. So let's take a look at these cards. So these first four cards are from um, a friend of mine, my friend Ed. Um, his daughter actually uh, qualified for Worlds in 2019. So uh, there's a really great card in here to, for that I'll, I'll, I'll be showing. But um, here's the first, a Mewtwo GX. This is an Arita artwork. This artwork is very iconic. I know it doesn't have a tab. I'm still preparing them, guys. It will be on there, and uh, I'm gonna remove it from this perfect fit. But this is how he gave them to me today. Um, very nice card. Um, I I think it has a good chance at a nine or a ten. Um, Ed picked a really good one there. Um, next, we've got this Japanese Reds Pikachu. Um, I have one of these cards myself. Japanese cards typically are a little bit easier to grade. They're they retain condition better. I think they're just overall printed um, with with higher quality. So uh, good for him for choosing that card. Very iconic. I like it. Ashes Pikachu. This is another card that commemorates a memory for Ed. Uh, this this Ashes Pikachu is the one that actually came uh, that you would get when you went to the theater to to see uh, Pokemon the movie I Choose You. Um, so that's really good. Really nice card as well. And the last card, and the one that I'm the most excited to have and see, is the Champions Festival um, World Championships 2019 card. Um, I had the pleasure of going to Worlds with, actually, with Ed. Uh, well, we didn't drive together, but we were, as a team, we went, um, and we all had a really great time. Um, so, yeah. Congratulations to his daughter. She is awesome. She beats me when we play. Um, she's very good at the game uh, and deserved that recognition of being uh, able to go to Worlds. So yeah, can't wait to see how that gets graded. Um, Ed, there are your cards. Next, I've got my friend Sean. Um, Sean collects cards with me casually. Um, I've encouraged him to get an Instagram, use social media a little bit, but uh, he doesn't want to hear it. But here are his cards going out in no particular order. Um, Flareon from Sky Ridge, Reverse Hollow. Uh, he was really back and forth on this card because it wasn't in perfect condition. Um, I encouraged him to send it anyway. I think when you get caught up thinking that 9s and 10s are the only valuable cards, uh, it could hurt your collection in the long run. So that's a great one. I think maybe an eight, um, but also I didn't I didn't really examine it all that closely. So we'll see. Um, and an evolution is always great. Basically, Sean came over and he wanted to know which cards to send off. We looked through his collection together, and these are the ones that we selected um, based on what he had, whether it be the card itself or the grade. 
So, you know, that's what it is. Um, Shining Mew is, is it's getting a lot of value right now. Uh, you know, a lot of people are suggesting that the current price spikes are due to COVID and stimulus checks and stuff like that. But, you know, people are out of work. Um, so, I don't know. Those two things kind of offset each other. I think it might just be a natural gain at this point. So, anyway, um, I traded for one of these Shining Mews. Its price went up to past what I traded for it. Um, very excited about that, but so Sean had one and I said, Sean, you should send that out to get graded. Shinings are a great investment regardless of what the card is in my opinion. Um, got these two, Poncho Shining Rayquaza and Poncho Gyarados. Um, I had the regular Gyarados, we got them together. I, I traded mine for a Fire Red Leaf Green uh, booster pack, sold the booster pack sadly. Um, and I had the Magikarp one too, so I think I traded him the opposite and we both had the opposites. I graded the Magikarp, it got a 10, it, got, it sold it. So these two are um, pretty nice cards. Again, Japanese stuff usually is easier to grade, so that was one of the reasons why well, we went with those. And also they're Pikachu iconic cards. Um, in Sean said as well, another Shining Mewtwo. So I'm gonna be very careful to um, organize these cards in a way in which the submission recognizes that they both sent in Mewtwo's, right? Because they send them back in the order that you sent them to them. Uh, it's just kind of part of their their system. So uh, that one's going like that. Don't mind the card saver. I am recycling. Um, Dark Charizard. Uh, bro, I have a PSA 10 first out of that myself. I'm going to make a whole video about that card, um, how I got it, um, and you know what, what, what I plan to do with it in the future. But, so I encouraged him to send out Dark Zard. I'm a big fan of this card. Regardless of the grade, regardless of the condition, I am a big fan of that. Um, Mega Charizard EX, great condition, 910. It's a newer card. Um, it's a newer card, but at the same time, it's a Charizard. So there really isn't much more that needs to be said there. If you've been keeping up with the hobby, you know what Charizard is and, you know, how it does. The last two cards are two Wizards of the Coast cards, a First Ed um, Fossil Dragonite and a Unlimited Nidoking. So I traded him this Nidoking in one of the last trades that we did and I had said to him as we were doing the trade, I'm like, yo, that's in really good condition. Like I would grade it if you had the opportunity to. So he's he's grading it now, which is really exciting. Um, and so the, the Dragonite is something that he got while trying to complete the Fossil set. So that's a great one. I'm also sending out a, a First Ed uh, Fossil Dragonite. It's in really, really poor condition. Um, I'd be surprised if it got a four, um, but I still am gonna grade the First Ed regardless. So these are Sean's cards. Great job, Sean. Some great choices there. Now for my submission. They're the, divided into categories. I sent out a bunch of different categories of cards this time because I wanna uh, see how they'll do. And plus, it's nice to have a, a, a collection of certain cards graded. So here are the... This is the first set of cards that I'm getting graded. Um, those are all Fossil First Eds. Um, and then down here we have Continued First Eds with Kangaskhan, Pidgeot, Zapdos, Dark Houndoom, Dark Typhlosion, First Ed Vaporeon, and First Ed Flareon. So that's everything. Uh, first Eds. Those are all of the First Eds. And so here's the idea. Um, I'm going to start putting these together. I'll go through one by one. These First Eds are not in the best condition. Um, I've definitely, definitely had better condition first eds in my collection and have sold them for far less uh, than they're worth now. But I had these other first eds and I was like, you know what, it's time for me to kind of benefit from the mistake that I made in getting rid of first eds before they peak their value. So um, this card's a different story, this card's a different story, and this card's a different story. So that's what I did here. Um, I got first eds that I thought were affordable, except for those three, and then you know, decided I'm going to grade them. So Dark Typhlosion First Ed, I got scammed out of buying this card once. Um, it's a crazy story. I'll tell you about it someday if you want to know. Uh, but I want a, I want a Dark Typhlosion and a Dark for Alligator First Ed. I have a Dark for Alligator PSA 8. I don't care what this one grades. They're going to be matching. Dark Houndoom, got from a great friend, great friends, Parker and Heather. Um, I'll tag them in this video. You should follow them. 
uh, they do a lot of Dragon Ball Super stuff and, and yeah, great stuff. But Heather was auction this, auctioning this on her page. I decided that I would offer more than the last guy was paying, obviously. Um, it was an auction post. Um, and so I just paid less than what I offered, what less than I thought it was, but more than what the last guy was willing to pay. And, uh, you know, I think it worked out very well. I'm going to get this graded. If it comes back a good grade, I'm going to send Heather and Parker an awesome gift in the gift in the mail um, because I'm thrilled at having the opportunity to own that card. I love the darks. I love the lights. I want more. Um, this here is a error fossil Zapdos first ed, the common error. I mean, it has just that like missing uh, ink in the top left. Many people know about this. It isn't a crazy error. Uh, but a student gave me that. Uh, one of my students, after showing me his collection, and I, I, I assessed it for him and gave him an idea of what I thought it was worth and where he could sell it and so on, he gave me a card. And I was like, whoa. Uh, he's like, I know you like that Zapdos. And he gave it to me. I was like, oh, man. He also had a base set Charizard, which is very exciting. So um, someday, they'll sell that card for lots of money, and I'll be happy to have seen it. So here we go. Uh, primes. I've got two of these out right now at PSA. Um, I think they're good. I think they're nice cards. I want the Typhlosion, Meganium, and Feraligator for myself, no matter what. They're staying in my collection. The Celebi, the Gengar, and the Espeon that I have out right now, I will be selling. Um, great cards. Can't wait to see how they come back. Um, I have got a whole mess of Hyper Rares going out this many hyper rares so i'll go through very fast some of the two highlights here are the mewtwo and the pikachu and zekrom but um these cards are amazing they are very 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 underrated um i am surprised that they sell for as little as they do um and that people are willing to sell them in mint condition um so that's one of those things that i would look out for if I were you. Um, hyper rares are great. I think this pile that we're getting into now are my Japanese cards. So again, I said I'm a big fan of grading Japanese cards. While again, they are in uh, higher higher uh, numbers, you're, you're going to get things in better condition. This is a Crystal Golem. He's not in Japanese, but he's here because I'm sending out a Japanese Crystal Golem. Um, so I was going to be, I was going to get these signed by Arita. Um, but, you know, that, you know, understandably due to COVID and all that shit, it got postponed. Um, the event's still on as far as I'm concerned, which is crazy because numbers in Jacksonville are nuts right now. Um, but uh, I'll be going next year to Arita. Some Japanese Pikachus promos that I got from a Japanese trader at Worlds, which was great. Um, I really would like to get the 2018 one i think it is but it's crazy is it 2018 it's crazy expensive one of them is super super expensive i think it's 16 2016 and then uh two really big ones um see another uh, another pikachu uh, another cosplay cosplay pikachu i really want the mario and luigi one i'm gonna try to sell these so i can get the mario and luigi ones um and yeah, and that Celebi is amazing. Another amazing um, per person that I do business with um, on Instagram. Oh my gosh, this card. So nice. Cannot wait. Hope we get to 10. Um, if not, oh well. I still paid such a good price for it. Um, amazing card. Amazing card. All right, this is my MISC pile. These are things that are getting graded um, that are, um, I don't know. And like random, they're completely random. Scyther, um, Platinum, Secret Rare. I want that card in a deck, but it's in too good condition. So I'm doing something I've never done before and grading something that I want to put in a deck. Um, Infernape, this is an Arita artwork. It's a fire type starter. Um, and yeah, that's what I think of that card. This is a Charmeleon. I helped a friend sell the Charizard this one, that this one came with. It, it, they were both his. I helped him sell that one for $80. It got a 10. I knew it was gonna get a 10 and I was like, man, but because I helped him sell it, I got this Charmeleon. So whatever, worth it. 
big work. PSA 10 worthy Ho O bottom. I tried to sell it for like 20 bucks. No one wanted it. Now it's getting graded. Uh, this top half legend. This top half of the legend. I think that the legend cards are great. I don't think that they usually have good artwork alone. This is the exception to that. Palpy and Diaga legend are both kind of shown there together, which I'm with. Battle Frontier, one of the most iconic locations in Ruby and Sapphire, uh, PSA 10 candidate, not a very expensive card, super exciting. Dark Crobat, uh, love him. Voltorb, reverse rare, love him. Ponyta, reverse rare, shiny, love him. Skyridge, or no, Ex I'm wrong. Expedition, Weezing, possible 10. Ledian, Sky Ridge, possible 10. Pichu, Expedition, possible 10. Magneton, Sky Ridge, possible 10. Um, Omastar, Sky Ridge, possible 10. Um, I don't wanna say anything about these Machamps, but I think, they're, I think their condition is really, really good. And I tried to sell both of them on my page uh, many times for less than what I thought they were valued and no one wanted them, so I'm gonna grade them. Uh, that's my opinion there. Giovanni's Nido King, um, same situation. Houndor, I never put up for sale because I knew it was in that good of condition, so I'm definitely think thinking a 10 on that. Um, some of these cards coming up are, are becoming very rare and people aren't realizing it. Alteria EX, Skarmory EX. I'm selling a bunch of EXs on my page right now, and everyone is really shocked at the price of them. Um, but like, I can't find them for cheaper, so I sent out some EXs. I have some out now in a bulk order as well. Um, but that's what we've got there. Level X's are up next. You'll see a lot of people going for these right now. They're kind of just coming around that time period, 2008, you know, they came out. So there's a lot of rare ones, a lot of really cool ones. Um, Absol G, Level X. These two, I'm hoping that they get matching grades. If they don't, oh well. Um, they're a cool Pokemon duo. I always like them. Awesome. Magnazone, Level X. Um, Giratina, level X. Infernape, literally the Charizard of the era, level X. And my favorite level X here, um, this Raichu, uh, level X. Love the coloring and the art. I'll get closer on this. Love the coloring, love his chubbiness. Um, great sparkle, great shine. The next set is a Regret send off Gardevoir, Delta Species, Latios, Delta Species. Gladius Delta Species. This is a Fakuda and an Arita. So, that'd be cool to have signed. Togetic, Deoxys, Nidoqueen, Jolteon, Pikachu, and Raichu. I call this my regret section because I sold a PSA 9 Delta Species Charizard and I wish I had not. So, that's, uh, that's that. That's my PSA send off. Um, Along with my friends. Uh, I'm very I'm very excited for them. I'm gonna tell you the truth I'm more excited for them getting their first PSA stuff back Than I am for any of the cards that I'm sending out um, I hope this opens new doors and new opportunities for them. I hope it uh, allows them to collect more cards I hope that it allows them to see the hobby and experience the hobby more um, spend more time with cards and thinking about like decision-making and and what have you but these cards will most of them will be um, up for sale or up for trade at some point um, even so my friend Sean's cards I know he's gonna want to sell these when they come back um, and as always uh, my objective is to sell a card to you for less so you can sell it for more so because at this point like truthfully you know, and I'm really open enough to come out and say it, the majority of the cards that, that I've purchased, I've purchased for less than I'll sell them for, even if I sell them for less than what they're going for. So I sell them for less than what they're going for so that you can feel you got a deal um, and you can feel as if if you needed to turn a profit, you had it there for you. You know, I'm kind of really open about that. So, all right, guys, that's the deal. Thank you for, for, for watching and uh, I'll see you slow pokes later.